of Tallinn was an active runway today for eight Air Force Reserve A-10 Thunderbolts from the 442nd Fighter Wing at Whiteman Air Force Base, Missouri. The A-10s landed and took off one at a time, guided by a combat controller from the 321st Special Tactics Squadron on the highway below. Uh, my role was the LZSC slash team leader, so I controlled all the movements as well as controlled the airspace at the 1200 feet AGL. Uh, as we coordinated the A-10s to come in, uh, overall the mission was great and uh, the training was accomplished. The highway landings provide a training opportunity that few get to experience. This one in particular is very unique. There's only been two done that we know of, uh, American side, and it was last month on June 20th and then this one as well, so it's pretty unique. Due to the complex and rare nature of the mission, planning and safety were paramount. There was a bunch of moving pieces and things, if you don't, they can cross into an active runway and encroach on it, which could cause an accident, which is what we want to avoid, especially in the semi-prepared environment. The success of the highway landings were a joint effort between U.S. and Estonian Air Forces. The Estonians were great in helping us out and getting our mission accomplished, and as far as the coordination went, it couldn't have went smoother. Both Air Forces working together on the landings demonstrates the U.S.'s commitment to not only Estonia, but other NATO allies as well. I think it offers a great chance for them to see the Air Force's capability and what we can offer and bring to the table for NATO as far as extending the Air Force's arm and leg for the combatant commanders if we ever have to push forward into a semi-prepared surface. The exercise goes a long way in demonstrating the Air Force's presence and capabilities in the area. That we can do anything, anytime, anyplace. Air Force Staff Sergeant David Azra, Tallinn, Estonia.